Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chewy891 here on the road. Here to come with you with an one piece, one piece theory that I have about what the SSG can be. I've tried to shoot this video a couple times with my recording software shit, and I've uploaded it a few times, and it's been shit. Uh, that's my fault, but uh, here I go, straight from the hip. So, I really want to get this out there, and I really want to get to the One Piece community and, and to you guys and see what you guys think. So, basically, I'm going to start with this, okay? I'm going to start with by saying that I already, I think the SSG, what it is, I think that they're artificial beings with Delford abilities, okay? That's what I think it is, what the SSG is. Um, and why Fujitora is confident in replacing the Warlord system to, uh, with SSG. That's why he feels, I think that's why he feels comfortable right now with just flat out replacing the Sichibu guy system. It's one of the three balance powers, and they have some heavy hitters in the, in, in, in the Warlord system. Um, and it's crazy that, um, that Fujitora feel that comfortable like that, you know, feel that comfortable in replacing the Sichibu guy system like that. Um, and it has to be something like that. It has to be something really powerful. And I, I think what it is is there's just artificial like pirates, like artificial beings that uh, Vegapunk just has all this DNA of all these pirates, and he was able to manipulate it to a point where he can produce these weapons and emotionless beings, just like Bartolo Mukuma, case in point. So let's go back a little bit. Let's go back to Shibori Archipelago, where we first see the Pacifistas. What do they have? They look just like Bartolo Mukuma, right? They don't have the pawpaw fruit, but they're shooting out lasers similar to Kizaru's. So personally, what I think happened was I think Vegapunk got to the point where he's like, okay, I can grab these a bit. I can either either through DNA or something, most likely DNA. He can extract the devil fruit ability, and he can put it inside these beings. This is why those pacifistas shoot out those laser beams, right? So, now, now that we got that, you know, now we see that, we get to Fishman Island, all right? Now, this is another crate. This is this ties into it. So, now we get to Fishman Island, right? And we're there, and then we get a prophecy from Madam Shirley, right? So, Madam Shirley has a fortune saying, Luffy destroys Fishman Island. And a lot of people have weighed in on this, right? And a lot of people have said, hey... You know, I think it's when Luffy finds the One Piece that destroys the Red Line, and that's the cause of Fishman Island, right? Me, I don't think so. What I personally think it is, I think there's an artificial, like, cyborg copy of, like, Luffy. Somehow, Vegapunk was able, able to get his DNA, somehow, who knows, and was able to put that Devil Fruit ability inside that artificial Luffy, and then they sent it to Fishman Island to then destroy Fishman Island. Why would they do that? Well, we just had the reverie, right? I mean, we saw the kingdoms and all that stuff. Wouldn't shock me if the world government wanted wants Poseidon as close as possible, right? They want they don't want Poseidon um they don't want Poseidon with Luffy or any of the pirates. So why not make it why not why not have the why not have them align with us, the world government, right? Have them betray Luffy, say, "Hey, fuck you," you know, screw you, right? You came here to destroy Fishman Island. We're gonna turn our backs on you. You know, you're not here to protect us. We're gonna go with the world government. That'd be a great way to do it. That'd be a way to get Poseidon out of uh, pirate hands, right? At least I would think so. I mean, for them, for the world government, I mean, that's what they would be thinking. So let's also at this point get to. Now that we now we talked about that, now let's get to Whole Cake Island, right? Whole Cake Island, what do we get? We meet the Vinsmokes, we meet Judge, we find out he worked with Dr. Vegapunk back in the day on some lineage factor or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. But basically it was something with like manipulating the DNA and all this stuff. Um So the other thing we Notice something unique about the Vin Smokes. The Vin Smokes, while well, they were, you know, they were beings created without emotion and all that stuff, but they all have special abilities, right? Rage. The first time we meet Raju, she's able to absorb poison. Hmm. 
And the curious thing that happened, you, you know, okay, in One Piece, when we get introduced to new characters and we see these crazy abilities, right? With pirates and everything. Normally, you get an introduction to their devil fruit, too. We didn't get a mention of the Vince Smoke's devil fruit, right? And what I think happened here was I think that Vince Smoke and Vegapunk figured this out, how to extract devil fruit abilities and put them inside their, these kids and to get them to work. And they were successful. So once that happened, the world government probably caught wind and said, hey, well, listen, we want we want your, we want this research. We, we, we need to create these weapons and we want you to side with us and whatever. So that's what I think led to the Bartholomew Kuma experiment with creating those pacifistas. And I think that was the beginning. And then once that started, once that was successful, they're now taking it a step further. I think what they're doing is is they probably have a ton, who knows, Vagabond probably has a ton of DNA with a lot of pirates, right? He probably has everything, I mean, think about it, I mean, he could probably have, I mean, Roger was, you know, incarcerated with them, who knows if they pulled off some DNA from him, who knows? Whitebeard too, Whitebeard was there at uh, Marineford, right? I mean, all these other pirates are there, I mean, they, there's probably a way that they grabbed all this DNA, and they said, okay, look, Vegapunk, we need, a, we need, a Luffy weapon. We need a Roger weapon. We need a wiper. You know what I mean? We need copies of these guys so that way we can we can finally tip the scales of this of this balance. We can probably be the top dogs and we don't need the Shichibukai anymore. Right? And Fujitora probably went to go see Vegapunk and saw how far along he was, right? And said, dude, we're ready for this. Let's do it. And said, let's get rid of the Shichibukais, right? So yeah, I mean, that's what I think SSG is. They're just a bunch of artificial pirates, right? Copies of them. And with all the abilities, but without the emotion, right? They're basically the perfect weapons. Um, And that's what I think it is. I mean, there, there's nothing... I don't know of anything else that... It, what it could be, honestly. I don't know. I mean, with all that... with I mean, with the pacifistas, with the Vince... I mean, all it's there. All that's there. Right, manipulating devil fruit abilities to extract it and putting it into, in, into these robots or whatever they are. It'd be really interesting. I mean, it wouldn't be a stretch. I mean, like I said, they did it to the pacifistas. And they look just like Bartholomew and Mikuma. Who's to say that they don't have look they don't, who's to say they don't have a uh, carbon copy of Weevil? Who's to say they don't have a carbon copy of uh, Luffy or a carbon copy of you know, this is a crazy one. I don't think they do. I don't think they're, I don't think Oda's going to do that. Like, have a copy of Roger or something. I don't think it's going to be like that. But I think it's going to be like certain pirates that they have these copies for and have been, you know, they have their DNA and have their abilities. Or they just have one that has this ability. Have, let's just say they have one uh, one weapon and it has uh, like 20 abilities. Who the fuck knows, right? But I think they're going to have different ones and they are going to have their different abilities and all that stuff. So, anyways, that's my theory, guys. Uh, finally, I'm, I'm just using my phone to record this. My recording software has been shit. Um, I know I've, I failed uploading this video a couple times, but this I think it's finally gonna be. This one will be finally be successful. So, let, yeah, guys, uh, one piece community. Let me know what you think, man. Um, I know I'm recording while I'm driving. Not, not logical, but you know, feel pretty safe doing this. But anyways, yeah, let me, uh, one piece community. Let me know what you think, man. Uh, comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like the video if you like it. Uh, don't like it if you don't like it. Uh, definitely like to hear you guys' opinion on this. And uh, am I off? Am I crazy? Or did I hit this on the head? Or what do you guys think the SSG is? I'm curious to hear what you guys got to say. Anyways, guys, I got to go. Chewy891 now. Thank you guys. Peace. I will be reading One Piece 991 tomorrow. I'm just going to wait for the official release tomorrow. I heard the chapter was phenomenal. Um, don't know everything that happened. I will find out tomorrow. But anyway, all right, guys, take care. Have a good night. Have a blessed day. Peace.